When Noah and his family were on the ark, God closed the door. And Genesis chapter 7 verse 11 says that the windows of heaven were opened. Can you imagine the rain that fell those days of the flood? It must have been just a, a downpour like we've never seen. But that's how it's described. The windows of heaven were opened. Well, in Malachi chapter 3, Malachi is charging the people with not bringing in the sacrifices that they should have been bringing. And God issues this challenge to them. This is God speaking through Malachi. And he says this in Malachi chapter 3 and verse 10. Bring the full tithe into the storehouse, that there may be food in my house. And thereby put me to the test, says the Lord of hosts, if I will not open the windows of heaven for you and pour down for you a blessing until there is no more need. And so that same figure is used there. God says, if you'll just do what I ask, I'll take care of you. In fact, I'll open the windows of heaven so that you'll have no more need. And that's the way God is. God wants to bless us. He wants to give us his very best. But sometimes, because of our lack of faith, because we don't follow him as he says, we don't get the blessings that God really wants to give us. And is that really still for us? I mean, we've looked at two Old Testament passages in Genesis chapter 7 and Malachi chapter 3. Is that really something that Christians should think about? Well, let me read it to you in Philippians chapter 4, and I'm reading now in verse 19, Philippians 4, 19. And my God will supply every need of yours according to his riches and glory in Christ Jesus. And so, yes, that is a promise that Christians can look for. Now, don't take that to mean that we'll get rich in the way the world thinks of riches. But it does say that God is watching over his people. And if we submit to him in faith, if we follow him the way we should, God will open the windows of heaven and will pour out upon us a blessing that, that we just can't imagine. God is so good, and he wants to be a, a God of blessings for us. Let's let him. Let's submit to him completely and then see how he works in our lives. Let's pray. Our God and our Father in heaven, we do praise you, Lord. You are so good to us. And Father, you have promised that you will be there. You will take care of our needs. Lord, help us to put our faith into action and to trust you. You have been with us all these years, Father. We know you'll be with us through the end and on into eternity. Thank you, Lord. Be with us as we continue on. We pray in Jesus' name, amen. God is so good, and I think you'll be able to say that as well, but let's put our faith into action. Let's trust him. Let's keep our eyes focused on him, and no matter how bad things may get in this world, we know the God who opens the windows of heaven will bless us. We love you. Can we help you in any way? Is there anything that we can do to be of assistance? Please get in touch with us. We'll do all we can. In the meantime, take care.